Uh, my name is Jada Doty and I'm going to school to be a psychologist. Hi, uh, uh, my name is Hannah Visnick and I'm going to school to study biomedical engineering. We're currently in biotechnology and I also take an engineering internship class this year. Hi, I'm Catherine Martin. Um, I'm going to college to study biology. Um, I've taken a lot of science classes throughout high school. We're in biotech right now. I took AP Biology, I've taken AP Chemistry, and I'm also taking Organic Chemistry in the spring. So this is our final design. Um, its name is Flip. Very creative. Um, so basically, there is a hexagon attached to the bottom of it. And in that hexagon, we attached a string. This is dental floss, but it could be something sturdier or thicker. Um, and essentially, three quarters of the hexagon is glued onto the tubing. So there is only a small portion of the hexagon that is open, and that's what will allow for um, the stopping and starting of the flow. If you pull the string down, water goes straight through. If you pull the string up, the water stops going through. And to show you that it doesn't conduct water from the other way, I flipped it around. And if you look closely at the tube, nothing is coming through. Okay, so this is just a closer look of how it works. So as you can see now, it would be open. The flap is bent. You can see the opening inside. And then to close it, you would pull it. There is no more opening. The water should not be flowing through at this time, and it does not when it is sealed. Okay, so this is our prototype that um, doesn't really work <laughs> all that well. Um, we named it Spot. Um, so basically all it is is this marble tied to a string and there's like a base of glue around it and our thought process was that for this was like if we can pull the marble down tight enough it'll like suction to the glue um and it won't let the water flow through um however that's not how that works um and so that's why this is one is our one that doesn't work it works fairly well does it does work like a little bit but not as well as the other one Okay, as you can see now, it's relaxed. There is some flow down there at the bottom. And then when you pull it tight, the flow stops. These were part of our problems. Um, it doesn't seal entirely. You still see that partial stream, but um, it does stop the flow of water a little bit. So this one is a little bit harder to see, but you can tell that there is a little bit of a spacing there. And then whenever you seal it, you pull the marble down. There is no space there for the water to get through and it is sealed. So from our two designs, we use quite a bit of the same materials. So for Flip, the one that does work, we have, it, this is just layered tape um, that we wrapped up and then cut into a hexagonal shape. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we use dental floss for the string because it's sturdy, but it's still thin. And then we use tape um, just to further reinforce that. And there's also super glue holding this together. For the one that doesn't work, as you can see, there is a marble um, inside. This again is dental floss. We basket wrap this around the marble to keep it in place. And then we also um, used hot glue for our base and then glued it onto the tube. This is a little bit of a change in scenery, but we wanted to briefly go over some of the problems that we had with this valve and why we ultimately decided to go with our other valve, Flip. So Spot the Marble Valve actually was our first idea, it was our initial idea, and we thought that it would be the one that would work. And like we said earlier, the hope was that the marble would seal with the glue and not let any water through. But um, we found that ultimately the marble had trouble sealing with the glue. We tried several different bases of glue. We tried putting a glove in between the marble and the glue in hopes that that would help seal it. But um, it actually made things a little more slippery and allowed for more water to flow through. And we did find a base that worked fairly well, but as you could see, it did still allow for some water to get through. So that is ultimately why we decided to make uh, Flip our primary valve. Uh, before we came up with Flip, we originally had four pieces that we had cut up and we tried to overlap them. 
but for some reason when we pulled the string it wouldn't uh, open so we eventually decided on this. So another one of our designs that didn't quite work out was one where we had a piece of a glove um, covering the top of a tube and that glove had very small slits in it um, and the glove was attached to a straw that we would manually pull that would stretch the glove and open the holes, which is what we wanted to happen. Um, however, that didn't quite work out the way that we planned. Um, the well, when the glove was relaxed and we weren't pulling on the straw, um, it was fine, like no water would flow through, but we couldn't get the straw to attach to the glove um, with really anything. We tried hot glue, we tried super glue, um, nothing was really sticking to it. I think it was because of the plastic on plastic, it just really wasn't adhering and nothing was staying and then it was getting wet and that would loosen the adhesive. So that's one that didn't really work out as well.